BizJet TV. My name's Fab Polly, and I'd like to celebrate today because we have now reached over 3,000 subscribers to this channel. So thank you all for subscribing to the channel, for liking these videos, sharing, commenting, suggesting videos to, to be made in that. And so as a celebratory moment today, because we've just over to, uh, managed to hit the 3,000 mark with the subscribers, I'd like to talk to you about an opportunity that has opened up in the business jet market. Now, some of you may have heard the term ADSB. Now, ADSB stands for Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcasting. Now, it's basically a system on the aircraft which uh, has a number of benefits. The first thing it, it does, it allows the pilots to be able to see the other traffic on the screen in the airplane. And they can see the heading of the aircraft, the altitude, the speed and that. That's the first thing. The other thing it does, it, it keeps broadcasting updated weather reports to the airplane. It gives them flight information, so notice to airmen, you know, changes in airspace, um, restrictions, airports that may, run, where the runway suddenly shut down for some reason, whatever. So it, sent, it feeds all that information to the aircraft as well. And overall, what it does is it increases the situation awareness. Well, international regulations now um, are basically putting out that at all jets that are flying around the world by 2020 have to have this ADSB equipment on board. Now the problem is not every aircraft does. And right now if we look at the business jet market there's 46 percent of the aircraft on the market right now are older than 20 years. So if the airplane is 20 years older uh, a lot of these aircraft do not have this ADSB because this is new equipment, new technology that's been introduced into the market. Now, out of this 46% of these aircraft that are on the market, they're older than 20 years, um, about 6.3% of them are actually being sold without these upgrades. Uh, there's another 13.3% where the owners haven't quite decided if they're going to upgrade their jet or not. So there's almost 20% there of these aircraft which are for sale which haven't had this modification done. Now, why is it that some some people are selling their aircraft, they're obviously wanting to buy a new aircraft, or maybe they've got the money to do so, they may be taking advantage of the new tax laws in the US, which allows you to write off 100% of the purchase of, of, of your aircraft. Uh, so if you do have, you know, 30, 40, 50 million dollars of taxes that you have to pay, uh, you might as well use that money to buy private jet and operate your private jet instead of just handing it to the tax man this is but if you're not in that bracket um, then you know th th there is an opportunity right now so some people are, are selling their jet and if they sell their jet without the ADSB uh, because the ADSB can cost over a million dollars to install so you imagine having an airplane that's worth maybe four five million dollars which some of the the older Bombardier Global Expresses are worth these days without this upgrade uh, you've got the airplane that's worth four or five million dollars. Is it really worth spending 1.2, 1.3 million dollars for the upgrade? Because then if you keep the airplane a year or two and want to resell it, the fact that it's got that upgrade is not going to really increase the value of the airplane. Because the value of airplanes is very often attached to the age of the airplane. Yes, if it's got a new interior and, and, and the maintenance has been done and that, it will sell probably quicker. It may be worth the couple hundred thousand dollars more but what you won't see is you won't see the the, the airplane appreciate or or, or or you make the money back of, of uh, the money invested to upgrade the avionics for example but but there is an opportunity here if you intend to buy the aircraft and you need a long-haul airplane but you don't quite have 25 30 million dollars what you can do today is go out there and purchase one of these older aircraft have the ADSB fitted um, and keep the aircraft four or five years and use the aircraft. And this is what I've been saying in, in a lot of my videos is the private jet is a business tool. And what you have to look at is not so much how much it's gonna cost you to buy, but how many opportunities the jet is gonna open for you. So if you do buy one of these older jets, which has you know intercontinental capability on the range, uh, you're gonna need the ADSB. Okay, which is not only going to keep you safer, it's going to make life easier for the pilots, it's going to you know, increase their situation awareness, which also take the load off the pilots when they're flying, which will make them more rested, sharper when they're flying, which will keep you safe. And so there are many advantages to doing this. But what I'm saying is that there is a window now of opportunity in the market 
to buy one of these older jets, kit them, kit it out properly with the ADSB. So if you are thinking of going down that route, um, just book yourself in below, send me an email, my email uh, is below this video, uh, ping me an email, I'll schedule you in for a call and, and I'll ask you a series of questions to figure out more about your business and see if this type of jet with this type of upgrade is something that will work for you. Now bear in mind that this type of upgrade does take about two months, sometimes more, and sometimes it does take a while to find a maintenance facility where you can book your airplane in. So don't expect to buy the plane today and get it done tomorrow because it may take even six months for us to manage to book you in, get the job done and the airplane delivered. So you have to bear this in mind if you're going to go down that route. But anyway, as I always say, every single private jet opportunity is, uh, is very um, much uh, has to be personalized so it really does depend on your needs which is why I can't really throw out information which is applicable to everybody what I've said today in this video is really as much as I can say in a generalized fashion now it really needs to get specific and specific to your needs so that's all from Fat Polly on BizJet TV so I'd ask you to share this video comment below and if you haven't subscribed subscribe so we can Hit the 5,000 mark, which is the next goal, from 3,000 to 5,000 subscribers. It's all from Fat Polly at BizJet TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.